I am Anil Kumar sharing with you the most popular question from the book Nelson Advanced Functions Logarithmic Functions. It is question number 6 page 458. The question is compare the function f of x equals to 10 to the power of x over 3 plus 1 and g of x equals to 3 times log of base 10 x minus 1. Now what is the relation between these two functions? So let's consider these two functions, right? f of x is equal to 10 to the power of x over 3 plus 1. Now, this is exponential form and that is a logarithmic form. So we know some way they are related by the inverse of a function. Is that okay? So let's figure out how to find inverse and see if, if there is any relation. So that's the key. Since we are trying to find or compare exponential with logarithmic function, it's a good idea to find the inverse of the exponential function and then see if there is any relation, right? Because once we get inverse, we know we are working with logarithmic function and then two logarithmic functions can be compared, right? Let's compare apples to apples, okay? So let's begin by writing this as y equals to 10 to the power of x over 3 plus 1 and to find inverse we will swap right so now we will swap x with y so we get x is equals to 10 to the power of y over 3 plus 1 we need to solve for y now so we get x minus 1 equals to 10 to the power of y over 3 and we know inverse is logarithm, so let's take log, right? And since we want base of 10, we write base of 10. Normally, it is not to be written. By default, the base is 10, correct? So we can write this as log to the base 10, which is this, right? Number 10 to the power of y over 3. Now we can write this as log to the base 10 of 10 to the power of y over 3 is actually y over 3. Is that okay? So from here, we can write down our function. So let me go from here to this place and write down the function. What is y equals to? So we get y equals to 3 times log of to the base 10 x minus 1, which is exactly same. Do you see that? So when we have to compare this exponential function with logarithmic function, then we should actually write them in the same form and then compare. So when we do that, by finding inverse of the exponential function, we found that they are exactly same, right? So we can say, well, g of x is inverse of f of x, correct? So we get g of x is inverse of f of x, correct? So that is how we can figure out the relation between them. I hope that solution helps. Thank you and all the best.